Hey everyone, um, this is my intro to my vlog. It is July now and I thought I'd do a check-in on some of the things um, that I talked about earlier in the year about things I wanted to do this year. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say that I recently posted a book review of the book Skin Cleanse and um, I decided to do a skin cleanse for three days. Um, and just not wear anything. Basically what I've been doing is if I go out, I'll put on SPF and then when I get home, I'll use one of those like magic eraser kind of cleansing wipes, not wipes, uh, towels and wash my face and then just not even moisturize after that. At night, I will wash with African black soap and not moisturize, which is so was so scary for me because I am all about moisturizing my skin. I'm deathly afraid of like my skin becoming dehydrated and things like that but i did it because i was getting a lot of these like little pimples like little things over here that just keep coming up just keep reappearing after they go away and like in the same kind of area i would just keep getting them so i figured i would just go cold turkey kind of and see if that helped and i definitely have noticed a huge difference in my skin um the pimples have really gone down a lot this was the only really active one these were just these are just like leftover spots i guess but this one it's no longer active i don't think yeah it doesn't feel like it um which is great for not having done anything to it it's basically as fast if not faster than me trying to mess with it like putting um tea tree oil on it or like clay masks and things like that and then my skin overall is not as shiny as it is when i slather on a million things which probably means that my skin is sort of regulating its oil right now the other thing i've really noticed is that my pores don't look as big which is so interesting that's not something i was expecting at all it's been like two days of not wearing anything other than spf and then cleansing once a day with african black soap and this is the result so i'm pretty happy with it i think i might do this like once a month or something um especially in the summer months because i don't need as much moisture on my face other than that i just wanted to talk about my goals for this year my main goals this year were to finish like a certain number of books a certain list of books and then i wanted to do things like wear sunglasses all the time which i'm working on i don't do it all the time but i definitely have been doing it much more than i ever have before um get seven hours of sleep eh, sometimes turn off all electronics like an hour before bed i was doing so well with that towards the beginning of the year but as time has gone on i definitely have not been keeping up with that at all i really need to get back into that and then what was the last one drink a glass of water i don't know that i've been doing that but i know that i drink more water than i used to at least i feel like i do um, i had this tracking app on my com my phone but i stopped using it because it was getting a little too much the one i did want to talk about was the reading list it is midway through the year now and i had set a goal of reading only 10 books this year normally i read about 20 to 25 books a year i would say but this year i set it to 10 only because i really wanted to focus on the eight books i think i listed among them were white teeth by zadie smith um middle march by george elliott swan's way and it is now july i have just finished the first book on that list but i've already read 10 books i just finished um i don't even know how to pronounce the name it's by peter jens jacobson or something it's called neil's line finally finished it it was actually a really short read but it was a kind of torturous read it was very very detailed very tell not show and i'm currently working on the second of the books um i mean they're all kind of books that i've read half of and i just never got around to finishing so this is the rainbow by dh lawrence i will be working on this and then white teeth which is on not only my 2018 resolutions list but also my like life list it's something that i've wanted to finish for upwards of 10 years now actually 15 years oh my goodness okay so that's my update i found these two notebooks that obviously i decorated i don't know how obvious it is but I decorated these and I was trying to remember when I decorated them because Enviro was a thing I think I tried to do. I was really into like zines when I was in my tween years. I was always working on my own zines at home. And then this one is so obviously 90s. I don't remember what year this was, but the print is just so 90s. In this Enviro one, I did want to say 
that I made lists of things that were my favorite. And I remember doing this at the time because I thought it'd be interesting to look back on it. January 22nd, 1999. Favorite book, The Third Eye by Lois Lowry. Favorite color is blue and green. That has not changed, which is so interesting to me. Favorite movie at the time, The Horse Whisperer. Favorite holidays, Christmas, birthday, and Valentine's Day. Favorite song, Heaven in Your Eyes by Nick Carter or the Backstreet Boys. Well, Nick Carter. And Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. Favorite TV shows. Oh gosh, these are really dated, but I loved Zoe, Duncan, Jack, and Jane, which they tur turned into Zoe. The name became just Zoe in the second season. That was a really fun show. I should. Um, I know it was on YouTube a little while ago because I watched an episode or two, but I should really revisit that show. And Daria. And then a year and a half later, almost two years later, September 4th, 2000, fave colors, blue, green, pink, and yellow. Currently, almost 18 years later, my favorite colors are actually in this. Blue and green are my favorite, favorite colors, and then yellow sometimes. Favorite movies in 2000. 10 Things I Hate About You. Still love that movie. Stepmom, own that. Notting Hill, yes, Notting Hill is still one of my favorite movies. And Sleepless in Seattle. Holidays, Christmas and Valentine's Day. I don't know why I had such a thing about Valentine's Day back then. Favorite songs, all Backstreet Boys songs. Let's Have a Party, Christmas Time, Heaven in Your Eyes, and Back to Your Heart. Still love Back to Your Heart. I think that's a classic Backstreet Boys song. TV shows, Bug Juice. Oh my gosh, I loved Bug Juice and I just read the other day that it's coming back. I'm so excited even though I don't have Disney Channel anymore and I probably wouldn't watch it, but it was such a good show. Camp Waziata. And then about three and a half years later, this is my final entry, which I should I should update these because it'll be fun. January 21st, 2003. Fave colors, pink, blue, and green. Fave movies, For Keeps. I love that movie. Starring Molly Ringwald and Randy Badkinoff or something. Oh my gosh, it's such a good 80s movie. I ball every time I watch that movie. It's about teen pregnancy but it's just oh oh <laughs> Notting Hill still one of my favorites almost famous still one of my favorites sleepless in Seattle and Ocean's Eleven interesting holiday yes by 2003 my favorite holiday was only Christmas and that still stands it's still my only favorite my favorite favorite holiday song favorite song at the moment I just want to be your everything by Andy Gibbs very interesting um but usually, Have You Ever by Brandy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's not my favorite. I don't know what my favorite song is. Like, there's just too many songs out there. TV show, Gilmore Girls and <laughs> Lizzie McGuire. I still love both of those shows, I'm not gonna lie. So that was my last update. That's just so funny to me. So that was my little fun sharing moment from my past, I guess. I'm gonna insert any footage that I've taken. I've taken a lot of random footage over the last couple of months of me like hanging out with my friends and stuff and I don't think it was, don't think overall it's very cohesive. So I'm just gonna insert it into the end of this vlog and then kind of like start fresh maybe later on. All right, thanks for watching and um, hopefully my next vlog will be a little bit more cohesive and more interesting. Um, let me know if you like this kind of video and what kind of videos you want to see from me. Thanks for watching.